Welcome to this James the Bike Guy where today we're getting a chance to take a look at a Mac Daddy version of Trex FX Series Hybrid. This is the 2022 Trek FX Sport 6 and it is one heck of a bike with carbon wheels, carbon frame, a high-end one by drivetrain and all the fixings if uh, having the nicest bike on the block is your kind of thing. So in this video we're going to talk about what comes on the FX Sport 6, go over the bike and then of course we'll find out exactly what it weighs. So if this kind of thing is interesting to you I suggest you stick around and let's check out the bike together. To begin talking about this Trek FX Sport, this is the sixth one in the lineup. And basically, the number that comes on these Trek FX bikes is related to the quality of the components that come on the bike. Now in Trek's FX series, they have their standard FX, which comes with an aluminum frame. And then when you go into their Sport series, they then get the carbon frame in front of us. This is going to be Trek's OCLV 400 series carbon fiber and it offers a pretty nice looking frame set with some beautiful curves and shapes to it to be able to allow this to ride better and save some weight. And in 2022, Trek totally redid the FX Sport series to be more capable, more gravel oriented and be able to do even more out of the same bike. Now, I did do a much more in-depth video than this one on the FX Sport 4. So go ahead and take a look at that. And the Sport 4 is going to be the first one in the lineup of the Sport series. They've got a Sport 4, 5, and then 6. So with the 6, basically there's no holds barred in getting part spec. This is on the slightly more expensive side of things at $25.99, at least as of May in 2022 but you get some really cool features that come along with it the first thing i'd like to point out is going to be cable routing and in fact you're probably not seeing much in the way of cable routing and that's because all the cables from the handlebar come in down through the headset there through a pretty neat integrated system they get tucked in nicely even down to the uh, front disc brake cable is run through the fork and then when you come out through to the back where the drivetrain is you'll see the cable pops out just before the rear derailleur for a really nice clean look. Not only does that make it nice and clean, but it does allow because there's no cables anywhere that it's easier to mount on a rack. You don't have to worry about, you know, the, uh, the straps going around catching cables or when you're locking the bike up. Now, a few other things to talk about. It's of course going to be the carrying capacity of this rig. So this can carry up to 300 pounds, including cargo, bike, and rider. So you could use it for some longer adventures, a bit of bike packing if you so wanted to, or just if you're going out to say the Cape or a national park to carry some stuff along with you. So up front, we've got lots of mounts for fenders, even some mounts on the side of the fork there. Then as we go into the frame, you'll see we do have a down tube water bottle mount, a seat tube water bottle mount, but if we look up above, there's mounts all across the top to be able to put a frame bag inside if you wanted to. And then rocking out to the back, we have hinted fender mounts, and then we also have rack mounts to be able to put a rear rack on this bike. So it's pretty cool to see all that additional carrying capacity capable. And then a spot for a duo trap sensor, which is where you can pick up speed and cadence. You can put a little Bluetooth sensor right inside of the frame there. Runs a standard 27.2 style seat post. But maybe one of the biggest things about this bike, and in addition of capability and comfort, is gonna come in to tire clearance. So you can see here, we've got some nice meaty Bontrager tires already on the bike, but this frame is set up to be able to run 42 C tires without fenders and 40 C tires with fenders. So that is a pretty chunky size. And in fact, the size that's coming on the bike right now is 700 by 40s. So you're getting a chance to see essentially how big and how wide the tires can be. And it can go even a little bit more without fenders. Last thing to talk about is going to be where is this in the lineup and the positioning. So this being the FX Sport Series, this is going to combine a little bit of their road bike kind of performance or gravel bike kind of performance and then also wrap in a more upright position. So in the Hybrid Series, Trek also has their Dual Sport Series, which has a front suspension on the front end of the bike. It's a little more upright in position, also run a bit heavier, and then they have their checkpoint series which is going to be a true gravel bike with a drop handlebar much more aggressive position than this fx although a little lighter and going to be faster on the road and that's where this fx sport comes in is this is a pretty nice combination of capability to do standard hybrid riding but also be able to do some gravel adventure rides 
you know, heck, this could be a bike that you'd go out on a gravel ride with friends with a drop bar if you preferred the more mountain bike style upright handlebar or just an awesome way, if you like a nice bike, to get around town, have some fun, ride with your kids, whatever it might be. Diving into componentry on the bike, we'll do some quick hits and then talk about the drivetrain and wheels because that's where the magic really is. So up top, you've got an alloy isozone Bontrager handlebar. Isozone means it's got this kind of white gel that's on a V-shaped style cutout of the handlebar. Gives a nice comfy position, your palm to go on these ergonomic style grips blender stem with a space to be able to add an adapter to carry your phone, light, GPS, things like that. And then out back is going to be a nice Bontrager saddle. This is a very comfortable saddle. It's pretty cushy and kind of neat to see a comfy saddle like that on a carbon bike. And then it's mounted up on a 27.2 alloy seat post. Now this seat post is a place that I uh, wish it kind of came nicer or a place where you could upgrade. We've got all this awesome carbon frame, carbon fork, carbon wheels but the seat post is aluminum. And if you swap this out for a 27.2 carbon seat post, you'd save a little bit of weight, but you'd also add a bit of comfort as well. Now, jumping into the drivetrain, this is where the magic comes in for the FX Sport 6. So the Sport 6 is a one by system, which essentially means you've got a single ring up front and then out back, it's rocking an 11 speed spread. So in back is an 11 to 42 tooth rear cassette that's operated through the Shimano GRX rear derailleur. The GRX derailleur is a mid-level componentry from their gravel series. So very nice setup, has a clutch, which is gonna help keep the chain from smacking against the uh, chainstay here and keeping everything quiet. And then up front is that front crank set operating with a 40 tooth chain ring. So 40 tooth up front and then 42 out back means this is less than a one to one gear ratio. So it's still gonna climb pretty well. And then a 40 with an 11 is going to be a fast enough gear to go down hills. Now sliding into the wheel set, man, this is a gorgeous set of wheels. Here we've got the Aeolus Elite 35. This is a carbon fiber rim. It's got a nice wide profile to it, and it's mounted up to these Bontrager GR1 Team Issue tires. This is one of my favorite kind of gravel tires that comes stock on bikes because it's a nice, fast, near file tread design with a little bit of blocking to the outside and then personally i think these tan wall tires going along with the tan look to the down tube and the riding the almost bronze riding here really ties everything together and in fact i don't know if you can quite see it but the paint is near translucent and you can see some of the carbon fiber underneath it almost looks like imperfections but that's on purpose being able to see the craftsmanship and the carbon that comes underneath the bike and in my opinion, it's one of those things that's just super neat because especially when you get it out under the sun, it becomes a lot more visible. Well, anyways, we've geeked out enough about the part spec and that sort of thing on this bike. I think it is time to find out exactly what it weighs. The actual weight of the 2022 Trek FX Sport 6 in a size large comes in and weighs 21.14 pounds. Now, while editing the video, it got me a little bit curious how this compared to the FX Sport 5. And that bike, which comes in about $600 less expensive, weighed in at 24.56 pounds. So in fact, we're seeing over three pounds of weight difference, which seems like pretty good savings for $600. But the thing that's most interesting is the Checkpoint SL5, which would be the most comparable gravel bike from Trek. It came in at 21.34 pounds. That is just slightly heavier than this Sport 6 and it costs $700 more. It's pretty incredible what a set of carbon wheels and a flat bar gravelish hybrid can do for both weight and price. Pretty interesting.